Say you're browsing the internet looking for jobs and then you click on an ad and boom, you see this. Update Microsoft Edge. It looks like an official website. It's got a nice blue button. Looks just like Microsoft. Even has their logo. And if you look at the URL, it's uh, edgeupgrade.com and the connection is secure. At least that's what the browser says. So you might be tempted to click install, but don't. Because the file you'd be running is this, install64.exe. This might look like an Edge update, but it's not. This is the first time I'm gonna show you the actual information that's sent over by this file the moment you run it. It's going to create a process and that's going to send this information to an IP address. And what is this? Cookie and then a bunch of letters. That doesn't sound good. So a browser cookie is where all of your passwords and login information is stored. And that's what this file is trying to steal and send to this IP address. Now, if we try to find what this IP address is, look it up on Forest Total, do a quick search, Search. As you can see, not a good sign. Looks like this is hacker infrastructure. So malware like this has been spreading all over the internet via different browser updates. So this one is for Edge, the one I just showed you, but there's also an equivalent for Mozilla Firefox called Mozilla Upgrade. Dot com. It's amazing how they can get these really cool domains because people like us, when we look for a domain, we can't find one because all the good domains are taken and cost like a million dollars. And then somehow the attackers get edgeupgrade.com. It's so funny. But this malware, by the way, is a full backdoor. It even takes a screenshot of your system and sends it to the hackers. And for a second, you might think that, well, I wouldn't click on a browser update. Why would I? Which brings us back to the attack factor. Infections have happen, not when you're aware and thinking about cybersecurity, but when you're doing other things. So let's say you're looking for a job because a lot of people right now are looking for a job. You're filling out your 500th job application. You know how it is. Every job asks you to log into a different website, upload your resume, and then they ask you for your education, your work history, you know, all the information you provided in the resume, and you have to type it all over again. Imagine doing that all day, and then suddenly you click on one of the ads, maybe by accident, and then an update window like this just pops up. You know you have to finish your application, so you just click update, run the file, and move on. That is what a lot of people are going to do, and that's what this malware is preying on, and this is a pattern. A lot of malware today does not necessarily rely on some really sophisticated technological trick to get you infected. They rely on psychological tricks because we're all human. Even hackers that target people like Linus Tech Tips have succeeded with strategies like that. And you might be thinking 99 out of 100 times, I wouldn't fall for this. So the other person must be stupid. Actually, they also wouldn't fall for it 99 out of 100 times. But the one time that they do is when you hear about it. Now, if we go back to the network information that was being sent, to the IP address, this is just one of the many things that this does. It obviously embeds itself within your system. It runs a bunch of Windows processes to make you think that's actually Edge Update. So it even runs the Windows Activation Service. So SLUI, this is the service that Microsoft uses to check if your version of Windows is activated or not. And all of this is just a facade. It's a cover-up for this one process, updater.exe, which is doing all the dirty work. And it puts itself in your program data under soft serve, creates a new program, and then this is what is used to run the whole info stealing and backdoor operation. Now I'm able to look at a lot of this in-depth network information and file analysis data thanks to VMRay, who are also the sponsor of this video. And I've been really enjoying using this platform. Now, another interesting thing about running this program is that when you do in a sandbox, often it's going to first make a lot of connections to actual Microsoft.com. So you might actually think this is a legit Edge update for a second. Of course, nowadays, modern browsers don't require you to download and run an EXE to update. It happens automatically in the background, but then it asks you to restart. But the window that pops pops up looks very similar. And there's no reason that an average user would be able to tell the difference between that window and a window like this. They might think, well, maybe this is a bigger upgrade. That's why you need to download an EXE. And there's no guarantee that for every browser, like nobody's going to ever require you to download an EXE to upgrade their software to the next version again, because a lot of other programs do. And while programs like this might be easy to look at in a sandbox and examine and say that they're malicious, but a lot of 
oftentimes antivirus engines will not necessarily detect it, at least immediately. And part of the reason is just how small these files are. So if you look at this file, look at properties, you can see that it's just a 50 kilobyte file. There's barely anything in there. And sometimes the original exe may not even be the malware. It may just be something that goes to a GitHub and downloads a small Python script that's going to steal your credentials. So it can be very tricky. Do watch out for threats like this and like and share this video if you found it helpful because um, unfortunately psychological tricks do work. So I think it's also really important to kind of show some empathy to those who are affected by things like this. Now, once again, I want to thank VMRay for providing us access to their platform and sponsoring this video. This is a great tool to analyze files privately. So you can do it without even sending your data to VarsTotal or any other party. So you can run your own private instance where you analyze things. That's definitely going to help me for some of our simulations and experiments. You can run things in a very realistic Windows 11 sandbox or go all the way back to Windows 7. So do check out VMRay using the link in description. Let me know what you think of it if you're a malware analyst. This is Leo. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.